So, you're learning to drive. Have you tried driving at dusk or in the dark yet? Because it's a whole different ball game. You must complete at least 75 supervised driving hours, including 15 hours at night. Sometimes it can be a bit scary, especially um, I live in the hills, so um, driving around the country there can be like lots of hazards like animals and having to turn on your lights. Driving at night is a lot different, but the more you do it, the more comfortable you become. As I'm just learning to drive, it's a bit more difficult to drive at night time. And when you go past other cars, you have to turn off your high beam lights. Here are some tips to tackle these driving conditions. Driving at dusk or in the dark comes with its own set of special hazards. Obviously, you can't see as much, but this also means visual clues that you use for driving are more difficult to spot. It's harder to see potholes, line markings, pedestrians, cyclists and motorcyclists. Neon signs, store lighting and oncoming vehicles headlights can also be a distraction. Before hitting the road at dusk or in the dark you should check a few basic things. Make sure your lights are working, that's front and rear, brake lights, indicators and high beams. Plan your route and know where you're going. The last thing you want to do is get lost. If you're driving a different car, make sure you know how to turn your headlights on and off and to switch to high beams and back. Switch your lights on as soon as it starts getting dark. If you're not sure, check if the street lights are on. If you're dazzled by another car's headlights, slow down, move to the left of your lane and lower your eyes to the road. Stop if you can't see where you're going. As the sun sets, you may get glare in your eyes. If you do, don't panic. If necessary, pull over until the sun has moved out of your eye line. How can you make night driving safer? When you're driving at night, you have to just be more cautious and drive a lot slower. To make night driving safer, you can practice in areas you know well and are more familiar with. Ease off the accelerator. Problems are harder to spot at night, so you have less time to brake, especially during rain and fog. Before getting behind the wheel, ask yourself if you're tired or if you're driving when you're normally sleeping. Either way could be potentially dangerous. Why is it important to get practice driving at dusk and in the dark? Well, to get practice driving at dusk, I make sure I ask my parents at that time of the day so I um, get better driving in those sorts of conditions. As a learner driver, it's really important that you get in the car and practice at driving at dusk or in the dark. This will build your confidence and you'll learn how to tackle these conditions. Friday and Saturday are the most dangerous nights to be out on the road. So until you've had plenty of practice, stay clear of these days. And if you're hitting country roads at night time, you need to be extra careful. Because there are more hazards in the country, driving at night time will make you become more alert and more confident with your driving altogether. Compared to the city, in the country you're driving at high speeds and in different road conditions. There can be all sorts of hazards that can bring you unstuck. Next time you drive at dusk or in the dark, stay alert and be prepared. <laughs>